Hello and welcome to Infinity. In another couple of videos I showed how you could emulate the effects of a uh, plug-in color change and so on to turn them into curves for the color change and also the uh, vignette. And I thought well let's have a go at using those doing the same principle with the Instagram. So here we go. If you look down below there's the link and uh, on the download page you will find this. So if I double click on this and here are all these and what you get here is effectively uh, the JPEGs are the vignettes and the macros there just create the curves. So I click and shift click these control C to copy go back up a layer and or you can put them anywhere you like. So here they are. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Instagram curves macro, the AF macros one, and drag that down on top of the image there. See it turns a little plus by the cursor. Let go, it'll automatically install them. It tells you how to do it more manually in the download page. So now I can apply any of these. And uh, so I can go to these. There's 1977. If I double click on it, I can see what's happening here. So it's, you know, bringing up the uh, the matting into the shadows. And there's uh, making it lighter up here with a bit more red in the it as well. And then it flattens off for the highlights. And I can play with these any time I like. So I can go to, say, the red one here and say, oh, let's just bring this one up a bit here. And you can sort of adjust the curves. So this it gives you something you can actually play with and make further adjustments to. And if you're fed up with it, you can just hit delete and get rid of it. So you can literally with one finger on delete go let's try that one. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. And these will have very different effects on different images, by the way. So you think of it, look, it works great on one. You put another image in and it, it won't. So literally just go down and play with them. And you see you've got a whole bunch down here. So let's say you've got Hefe, that gives you that sort of a more of an orange effect there. And it, because it says here add overlay, that means I need to bring in an overlay. So control O to open. And here we've got the Hefe overlay. So I double click that and that brings that in separately. Um, and I left it as a square, which is what Instagram does, square filters and I just control A, control C to copy that. Go to this one here and control V to paste it in and it comes in. You can see it appears up there. Click on the move tool up here and then just stretch it to fit. And it'll snap nicely to the edges if you've got the snapping on up there. And then just change the blend mode to overlay. And there you go, it's basically applied it around the edge because the grey effectively becomes transparent. And there you go. There's a whole bunch of them there to play with. I hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching.